Today we're going to take a look at the Sony FS7 with the Atomos Flame series. The FS7 has become a very popular camera, bridging the gap between the Alpha series and the F5 and 55. The FS7 offers a wide set of features, including S and Q slow-mo, pro audio, built-in ND filters, and awesome picture quality with the true 10-bit output. The FS7 shoots in S-Log2 and S-Log3, making this camera perfect for shooting HDR. HDR, or High Dynamic Range, is about displaying a wider brightness range, closer to what the human eye can see. With a wider brightness range, you get more detailed highlights and more detailed deeper blacks at the same time. Now you can shoot HDR with your log camera. Also monitor and expose correctly with your Atomos monitor. This is definitely a seeing is believing type of technology. So to demonstrate, we're showing you SDR and HDR footage to compare. Now edit and grade for HDR using your flame as your reference monitor. Finally, you can deliver a master that's ready to display on HDR TV panels that are being sold to consumers right now. Push the menu button on the side of the FS7. Using the select wheel below the menu button, first scroll to the user menu on the top of the main menu. Enter the country menu. Select either NTSC or PAL. Once you apply a change, the camera will restart. Press the menu button, then scroll down to the video menu. Scroll to output on off. Select either HDMI or SDI. Go back to the video menu. Scroll down to output settings. Enter and set HDMI target to recorder. Scroll down to output display. In the output display menu, choose SDI off and HDMI off. Go back to the main menu. Scroll down to the TCUB menu and enter. Scroll down to HDMI TC out. Turn this setting to on. Go back to the main menu and scroll down to recording. Scroll down to SDI HDMI record control and set to on. Using a full size to full size HDMI cable, connect the camera to the Atomos 4K recorder. Power up the FS7 and the Atomos recorder. On the Atomos recorder, the input menu should be set to HDMI. While you are there, set HDMI trigger to on. Return to the FS7 user menu. Scroll down to record format. Select video format. In NTSC, choose 3840 x 2160 2997 or 3840 x 2160 2398 p Or if you're in PAL, choose 3840 x 2160 25 p Scroll back to the record format menu. You can select 1920 x 1080 5994p or 1920 x 1080-2398p. If you switch formats, the camera may restart. In PAL, you can select 1920 x 1080 50p. Return to the video menu and make sure that the output format is set to 1920 x 1080p in HDMI. If you set video formats to 1920 x 1080 2997 or 25, at this point in the video menu, the camera's output format should show 1920 x 1080i under HDMI. You may need to engage pull down on your Atomos recorder's input menu by touching just below the record button. Now you're ready to record 1080 from your FS7 to your Atomos recorder using HDMI. Connect the Atomos 4K recorder and the camera via SDI. Power up both the camera and the Atomos recorder. On your Atomos recorder, open the input menu and set the source to SDI. While you are there, set trigger to Sony. Make sure this is enabled. In the FS7, scroll down to the video menu. In the output on off menu, make sure you have SDI set to on. Go back up to the user menu and scroll down to the record format menu. Set the video format menu as desired. Return to the video menu and make sure that the output format is set to 1920 x 1080p in SDI. At this stage, you might need to engage pull down on your Atomos 4K recorder's input menu by touching just below the record button. You're now ready to record from your FS7 to the Atomos Shogun over SDI. To record in log from your FS7, go to the paint menu. 
the FS7 has settings for both its standard or the more filmic Cine EI mode. First go back to the paint menu, then enter into Gamma. Scroll down to the Gamma category and choose either S-Log2 or S-Log3. To use Cine EI, back out of the paint menu and go to the user menu. In the user menu, go to the base settings sub-menu. In shooting mode, choose Cine EI. Staying in the shooting mode, click down to color space. There you can select S Gamut with S Log 2, S Gamut 3 Cine with S Log 3, or S Gamut with S Log 3. So there you have it, the FS7 and the Flame series make the perfect couple for shooting HDR. For more information, go to Atomus.com. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and also Instagram. And as always, happy shooting.